Monsieur Le Petit, are you aware of the nickname the people of France have given me? I have no interest in such things. But you're aware of what they call me. I'm aware. What are you aware of? Call you the joint, huh? Precisely. I understand your trepidation in repeating it. Heidrich apparently hates the moniker the good people of Prague have bestowed on him. Uh, actually, why he would hate the name the hangman's baffling to me. It would appear he's done everything in his power to earn it. Uh, I, on the other hand, love my unofficial title precisely because I've earned it. The feature that makes me such an effective hunter of the Jews is, as opposed to most German soldiers, I can think like a Jew, where they can only think like a German. <laughs> More precisely, a German soldier. <laughs> now, if one were to determine what attribute the German people share with a beast, there would be the cunning and the predatory instinct of a hawk. But if one were to determine what attributes the Jews share with the beast, it would be that of the rat. The, the Führer and Goebbels propaganda have said pretty much the same thing. But where our conclusions differ is I don't consider the comparison an insult. Consider for a moment the world a rat lives in. It's a hostile world indeed. If a rat were to scamper through your front door right now, would you greet it with hostility? I suppose I would. Has a rat ever done anything to you to create this animosity you feel toward them? Rats spread disease. They bite people. Rats were the cause of the bubonic plague, but that's some time ago. I propose to you any disease a rat could spread, a squirrel could equally carry. Would you agree? Right. Yet I assume you don't share the same animosity with squirrels that you do with rats, do you? No. Yet they're both rodents, are they not? And except for the tail, they even rather look alike, don't they? It's an interesting thought, Herr Colonel. <laughs> However interesting as the thought may be, it makes not one bit of difference to how you feel. If a rat were to walk in here right now as I'm talking, would you greet it with a source of your delicious milk? Probably not. I didn't think so. You don't like them. You don't really know why you don't like them. All you know is you find them repulsive. Consequently, a German soldier conducts a search of a house suspected of hiding Jews. Where does the hawk look? He looks in the barn, he looks in the attic, he looks in the cellar, he looks everywhere he would hide. But there's so many places it would never occur to a hawk to hide. However, the reason the Führer's brought me off my Alps in Austria and placed me in French cow country today is because it does occur to me. Because I'm aware what tremendous feats human beings are capable of once they abandon dignity. Thank you.